Hi there, my name is Tally, and today I'm going to be making something that I really should have made a really long time ago. But I'm finally trying to start making videos regularly now, and I figured I'd go ahead and start with this one because this is something that was long overdue, and I want to go ahead and get this out there. So this is going to be the story of a time that my friends and I had a ramen party at a furry convention. This is uh, something that I should have some video for, and if I have video that corresponds with whatever I'm talking about, I will put it in the video. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and narrate over things, and we can see exactly what I have later, and I'll, and I'll put it into the video for you guys. So the whole thing started when uh, a group of my friends and I, we were all talking, and we were saying that we should have a ramen party at a furry convention. And it was mainly uh, something to just, you know, all everybody has ramen and eat and everything like that. We had made the statement that we should make it in the bathtub. I think because of a, the Filthy Frank video at the time, the human ramen video, we said it would be really funny if we um, we could get fursuiters into the the bathtub, and that would be that would be funny. It was at Furry Siesta 2016, I believe, and we had all gotten together, and we were like, all right, this is gonna happen. So that year we went to the store and we bought 200 packets of ramen. And we also bought some leeks, but we ended up fighting with them, so we broke them, so we couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't use those for the party at all. But we had 200 packets of ramen and we had went to the store, got the ramen, went back and we had scheduled our ramen party to be, I think on Saturday. And we had put out little posters or flyers or whatever uh, saying that the ramen party was going to be at this time and at what room and everything and we had been telling people that it's going to be the best party and honestly it, it was the best party <laughs> at that at that convention or, or meetup whatever you want to call it. The thing is is it gathered so much uh, attention that people were saying like hey I want to DJ at your party and we're like I don't think this is the type of <laughs> party for DJs but sure come on come on down let's let's have some DJs for the party. So they they we had like a, a couple of DJs that were playing music and everything and then we thought oh man there's a lot of people that are that think that I guess are trying to come to this party. Uh, so we should get some alcohol ready for it and just kind of have a little bit so that people can drink if they want to. So what we did is we took all of our leftover alcohol. <laughs> so we had a whole bunch of Red Bull. Oh, no, no, not, not Red Bull. Uh, no, I actually think we did put some Red Bull in there. But what we did is we put, it was like rum, Jaeger, uh, oh man, the cinnamon one. I can't remember what it is. The, the, the cinnamon one. I'll put it on the screen right here. Whatever this whatever it is. I'll put it right here. I can't remember what the name of it. A whole bunch of that. And then I remember we had some apple juice with Shrek on it. And we put that in there as well. So we made this big trash punch. And it actually tasted really good in the end. Which was, which was great. When it was about to be the start of the party. What we did is we went ahead and started gathering up all the noodles. And unpacking them and putting them into the bathtub. Okay. What are we doing for our lives? Oh, ramen. We had like some warm water in there and we were making the noodles in there. We didn't put all of the packets in there. We put a couple of them in there, but not too many. Uh, we got all the 200 noodles into the bathtub. From there, we had started the party. Everything was going on. Everybody was going on checking out the noodles and they're like, whoa, that's a lot of noodles. And honestly, that's pretty much what everybody was doing. Everybody was very curious. A lot of people were just around the bathtub, just kind of looking at it because it was such a such a sight to see so much ramen in the bathtub. I think we had seven people get into it. I was one of them. The The first one, I remember that we had some people like making, taking the ramen packets and actually putting them in there and then, and then eating some of it. I think that was mainly only the first person that got in there because uh, after that, you know, there's human stuff like your skin and all that in in the noodles and no like that's that's disgusting but um it was definitely an experience uh it was very very not good feeling very soggy not good not good you don't you don't nobody it was it was, uh, yeah no yeah don't do it but it was a lot of fun and the party was only 45 minutes long because at that point Everybody was kind of done with the ramen and we wanted to go ahead and clean it up. We didn't want to leave it in there for too long, cause any issues or whatever. So what we did is we went ahead and started trying to clean it up. We had some buckets ready that to, to drain it, or not to drain it, to get all the ramen out of the bathtub. But it was two giant buckets and we ended up filling both the buckets 
uh, because it was they had gotten like soggy with all of the water and everything so they had taken up a lot of space we got these buckets and we got a lot of the ramen out but because people have been getting in it and everything it had been breaking the ramen into really small pieces so we couldn't actually get a lot of the ramen out we couldn't like pick it up with our hands or anything so uh we had to make an emergency trip to the store and what we did is we had to buy some drano just in case there was any sort of issues with the bathtub and then the second thing was that we had to buy a strainer uh just to just to grab the noodles out of the bathtub and then put them into the, the tub uh the little little tub that we had set aside for it once we had gotten all the noodles out we had taken like a i think it was like a bell hop that we had found we had taken both the noodles and we'd covered up with cardboard because we didn't want to like go in the elevator and have somebody be like why do you have this many noodles what are you doing so we were trying to be as normal as you can look with that much noodles uh luckily nobody really cared and at the time it was it was kind of not busy in the hotel so that was great but the thing that happened with this is the original plan was we were going to go into the back of the hotel normally that the, the the garbage is back there and then we could have just uh tossed it in there well we noticed that their garbage was actually inside the hotel and we needed like an employee card or whatever to in order to um in order to get in there so obviously this is not something that we had so we started looking around frantically of where to put these noodles and the buckets themselves were so heavy that like we couldn't really pick them up very easily we weren't really in a spot that you could there wasn't like any stores nearby or, or anything else so we kind of just had to find a place to get rid of it we had found one trash can outside that was big enough to put them in and we just dumped all of the noodles into the one trash can in the smoking area and that's that's how that's where we put them so we never got a really an update or nobody ever really followed up with the noodles afterwards. Uh, well, we, we did check on it like two hours after and they were still there. That trash can was definitely filled to the brim with noodles and I'm sure that whoever had to check on that was not very happy <laughs> about finding all of those noodles in there. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, a 45 minute party, two hours worth of cleanup for this one thing and it was a great time. <laughs> uh, don't do it, it's not that, it's, it, it's, it's a great time but it's not worth the cleanup. That is basically how everything happened with the ramen party. I hope that you enjoyed the story of the ramen party. Hopefully I have enough footage to show you guys what it actually looked like and everything. And uh, so if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like or comment on the video, tell me what you think. I'm also gonna have the link to my Patreon and my coffee in the description. If you wanna support me in any other way, that'd be fantastic. Subscribe if you want any more of my future videos. I hope to be making a lot more soon. And until the next video, bye.